El Paso Water will be helping the city save taxpayer money by conserving water at city facilities. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela is live in downtown El Paso to explain what this means for the community. Well, some people may go off to spend some time at the main branch library here in downtown El Paso, one of the city's public facilities that's working on becoming water efficient. Our residents really embraced conservation. They really um, look at it as a way of life. And so now that the city is jumping on board and wanting to do the same really means a lot. El Paso Water recently awarded the city of El Paso a $25,000 grant to help assist facilities in the public sector become water efficient. That means the money will be used to replace older water fixtures like sinks and toilets, which officials say will help reduce the gallons of water used per minute. The first phase of this initiative will focus on police and fire stations as well as libraries. It does take money um, to take those out, buy the new ones, and install them. So that's what we're going to help uh, the city do, is replace or retrofit all of these fixtures, and we expect that we'll see their water consumption drop quite a bit. While some facilities are already certified water partners, El Paso Water says the more the city saves on its water bill, the more water and dollars will be saved for taxpayers. We're estimating that as part of this first phase of this grant, one to three million gallons a year can be saved on water, and that could in turn result in up to $10,000 in taxpayer money that could be saved um, because of the water conservation efforts. So I think that's something that benefits everybody in the community that does play taxes. El Paso Water's next phase plans to focus on recreation centers and museums. Live in downtown El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News. All right.